Hello guys, today I am going to explain you about analyzer reading and how you can achieve it for better clarity and balanced mixes. I have used analyzer for years during recording and mixing. So guys, are you ready? See you after the music. Hi, I am Julian, sound engineer for the past 22 years and I am here to share my knowledge and experience. The golden rule of any great engineer is to achieve good sound by his ears while recording and mixing. Well, that part is absolutely true. But why don't you use a tool where you can see sonically everything what's happening in your song? We as engineers use analyzer to see graphically what's happening in the song and also clashing of frequencies and loudness of the track if you use it correctly during your mixing process it will help us to get the tonal balance in place so guys let's talk about a free analyzer plugin called waxango span now don't get scared of all these numbers here it is really easy to understand let's check out our span which is a free plugin and it's one of the best for analyzers this plugin is widely used in music industry and uh, there are many other different uh, spectrum analyzer plugins which uh, you can use so this uh, spectral analyzer uh, displays the information of an audio signal as a dynamic uh, graph uh, displaying the frequencies and uh, amplitudes so the frequencies you can analyze from the horizontal axis this is a cross hand which is very important for this analyzer so frequency is analyzed by the horizontal axis and amplitude is analyzed by the vertical axis this is the amplitude and this is the frequency so this scale is about the amplitude the metering as you can see it has got all the metering and what is important for us is the LUFS it will show you in the integrated LUFS Time appears on the graph in real time. So if you play a song or a, any sound, the information displayed on the graph will change in real time. Many frequency analyzers allows you to adjust the scaling of each axis so that you absorb the information in different ways. So if you go to the settings, there are settings for changing the scaling and changing the uh, scales of axis of this particular analyzer. So you have also have an option to change the time of the display. So it has got a presets of real time average, it has got max it has got average it has got real time max it has got real time sigma so it will show you the display with time so let's check real time average observe the speed of the graph Let's go to max. Mm. 
let go to average let's go to real time max let's go to real time sigma so you have this preset you can select whichever uh, suits best for you for me it is between real time uh, max and real time average so i'll now set it to real time average and uh, the other thing uh, the block size determines the resolution of this graph so if you have the low resolution it will uh, show you this kind of display and if you have high resolution it will give you much detail now let's go to the frequency anti aliase thing so this let's go to the frequency low it is set to 20 kilohertz as you can see from the analyzer it's 20 hertz so you can shift to either 10 hertz the analyzer will show you from 10 hertz and high frequency is 20 kilohertz you can set to either 22 kilohertz sorry 22 kilohertz and uh, this is a range low like if you want to uh, change this graph height uh, just i'll give you an example so this range low and range high can be adjust with the height of the uh, display graph so you can adjust from range low or range high uh this slope is about the graph this slope so i think this is fine but uh, i just want to show you what it does mm. other thing is the smooth so you can see the waveform uh, it shows lot of harmonics in it So now, if you want to smoothen this up, you can go to one sixth octave. You can see the graph has been smoothened. And this is the fill display. If you click on it, the color of this green will go. As I said, walk with your ears, but use your brains by using your ears and analyzer too. What kind of analyzer you use? Do let me know in the comment box. Till then, watch this video for more content. Do like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon. So, guys, let's move to an another important settings for the analyzer. which is go to preset go, go to mid side studio activate it and then you can check now in mid side what it will show you it will show you the detailing about the mid what is happening in the mid and the detailing of the sides what's happening in the side now let's play the track So the green one are the mid, the yellow one are the sides. So what you can do, as you can see, there are some frequency popping up on the sides. So let's go to sides around 80 to 100 hertz. It's from the kick. So you can just cut off that particular frequency from the sides. Let's go to EQ, EQ, and uh, let's go to mid side, and let's go to sides, and then go to brick wall filter, and cut off the 
side still 110 hertz now uh, let's check it I think uh, it's much cleaner after cutting that particular pop from sides then if you again go to the settings and click on fill display and this is the average time of the second uh, spectrum So like the mid uh, display is faster than the sides so you can set it by uh, just adjusting this spectrum to now so guys this uh, plugin is very nice it's, it's a free plugin and I suggest for you all guys to use this plugin so if you want to use an analyzer in mixing a song and if you want your mix to sound as a reference track then you need to do a reference view download the reference release track and try to read through the analyzer for its dynamic and frequency response so guys a simple way to uh, understand your mix track with the reference track is to play the mix track first and analyze the graph So the plus point of this analyzer is it has got this crosshair and you can copy that frequency from your reference track the peak low frequency just hear it again now I'm going to click right click on your mouse and this will show frequency was copied to the clipboard now I can open up a EQ on the mix track and then I can say paste and use this focus bell EQ by 2 dB and increase that particular low frequency. So let's hear it. So we are matching the low frequency of reference track with the mix track. So with this analyzer, it's very easy to find out the frequency of your reference track and paste on your mix track or the other way you can also find out the classing frequency with this cross air and then you can always paste that frequency either duck it or either boost it so guys this is very helpful in your mixing so guys other cool feature of this analyzer is you can analyze the particular frequency by hearing that particular band so what you can do is click control on your keyboard and click left 
on your mouse and if you scroll on the mouse the bandwidth will increase and it will decrease precisely and if you and if you right click again the frequency was copied to the clipboard so likewise also you can search it isn't it cool guys my favorite best spectrum analyzer is Waxengo Span from Waxengo, SPL Hawkeye from SPL, Insight 2 from Isotope, New Gen Visualizer from New Gen Audio, Fafilter Q3 Analyzer with its EQ and Dynamic EQ, and Analyzer from Wave Bundle. I hope you understood analyzers and their users. Every analyzers have different algorithms and user interface. Use it and it will be surely helpful to you. Till then watch this video. Cheers. Bye.